at that time um, investigating and, and fact gathering and wanted to know some things. So, those, like I said, I, I got to give props to the Disney people. They do their homework. And one of the things was, I said, well, come on out here. You can look at our aircraft that we have, and then you can look at this aircraft here, which is highly visible during the uh, brush and forest fire seasons that we have here. So they came out, and they met our folks just like you did today, came here to the facility. They met some of the pilots, the maintenance crew. They walked around the aircraft. They touched it. They had them inside. They had them fired up. They listened to the sound of it. They watched it fly. I think some of them even took a flight in it. They really, really did their homework. They went back to the offices, called me a few weeks later. Hey, we missed a little something. Can we come do it again? Sure, come on out. So we had them out here a few times. And after that time, what they did was they started sending me information, what would look like early scripts. They would send me a script. And they'd, they'd highlight, is this the proper word? Is this what a terminology you would use? Is this what you would say? What would you say in this case? And a lot of times they would scratch something out and I'd say, no, no, we don't talk like that. No, this one's good. And we help them. I, I guess that's what you, you know, the, the definition of someone being a technical advisor. Basically, they're making a movie, but they want it to be technically correct. And if I look back and I think when my son was young and I go to Disney movies and it's something that I don't know a lot about, I sure sounded like it was correct. But in this case here, when it was about the aircraft and it was about flying, it was about the fire department, it was about rescues, um, I, we knew the language that we speak. And they took every single one of those things that I said and put it in, in the scripts and changed the scripts. And of course, I didn't know what the final product would be until the movie came out. And so. Uh, the movie came out middle of summer, okay? Next thing I know, my email is blowing up. I've got people that said, hey, I went to that Plains movie, and I saw your name on there. And I'm like, really? They put my name on there? Like, yeah, I like kind of, how big was it? Was it big? Was it going fast? Was it, was it like, you know, after a TV show, or was it real slow? Was something funny happening? He said, no, it was slow. It was big. But one thing everybody has said to me is that, Man, yeah, that movie was technically correct. Anybody in the fire service who knows, from the political overtones of it to the vernacular they used during the um, uh, flying or rescues or hoists, whatever it was they did, they took all those changes that we put down and gave them and did not embellish on it, put it exactly like it was. So again, well, that made me feel good because the last thing I want to do is have something out there that my boss goes, hey, did you guys tell him to say that? And then, you know, I wouldn't be an assistant chief anymore. I'd be washing. <laughs> Which actually is a good job. So today, what I uh, what we're going to do? It's Gabby asked me. We'll have you out here. We're also going to, as from what I'm understanding from 